Confidence continues to increase that we'll have a preseason subtropical development in the Atlantic, but it will likely not impact the state of Florida. Nonetheless, here are the latest with your tropical update on Invest 90L. Uh, we could have a subtropical cyclone by Friday, maybe even a tropical cyclone by the weekend, but it will be approaching the Carolinas. So North Florida and really the rest of the state will stay dry and warm. I put an asterisk here because there is a couple of forecast models that indicate we could have some wraparound moisture from the system over the weekend. I'll show you that coming up. Nonetheless, this is a good reminder that now is the time for those preseason preparations. We could have another cyclone before the end of the month of May. It's not unheard of. That happened back in 2012. The system is slowly strengthening even though you don't see a lot of thunderstorm activity near the center it's starting to wrap around a little bit become a little more tightly wound pressures have been slowly falling now for about 36 hours and it's slowing down a bit over the warmer Gulf Stream waters. Here's the European model that shows that high pressure blocking it from moving out to sea. So the system would slowly drift toward the Carolinas with potential landfall Saturday or Sunday. By the way, if it comes ashore, it would be the earliest in history in recorded history that a landfalling system that is named uh, comes ashore here in May. Now this particular forecast model shows the dry air in place, okay, on the back side of the system, but it shows the system backing up a bit and potentially giving North Florida a chance for some showers over the weekend. Not buying this just yet, but I wanted to show it to you just in case something like this were to happen. Rain chances would be on the rise again and for the northern part of the state Saturday and Sunday. This particular future track though shows it staying well offshore. The winds, by the way, are shifting offshore as well. There'll still be an increased risk for rip currents, but those winds will be diminishing and it's going to stay warm for inland areas through the weekend.